What's up, everyone? So welcome back to another trade recap. I'm going to be going over the trades that I took on Wednesday, August 10th. I actually took two trades on the day. Microsoft calls for what was a trade that didn't really work out that well. And then I waited for a nice setup on Tesla. Price action started to get pretty aggressive. And I took Tesla puts. And I got a nice win out of that trade. And between both of those trades, I ended up $1,957 on the day. So it's not every single day that the first trade that I take off the open is going to be a winner. I wish that was the case, but that's just not how it works. So this is a really good example showing that that Microsoft trade didn't go quickly in my favor, started to pull back. So I just got out of it for a very small loss. And instead of starting to over trade, just be patient, wait for a quality setup. And then if something sets up, that's when I'll take another trade. Don't let my emotions get the best of me because that first trade didn't work. Just be patient. Wait for the setups that I always talk about on this channel. That's exactly what happened with Tesla and it saved my day. And even though I made $19.57 on the day and that's a decent amount of money, it's not every single day that I'm making a lot of money. There are a lot of days in between where I'm flat, small green, small red, or just very flat on the day. Today is a really good example of that. It's the next day, the 11th. I joked and I tweeted on my Twitter that I'm rich. I made $52.11. I took a few trades today. I couldn't get much going. Realizing that I'm one hour into the day and I'm a few trades in, if I am not able to get a lot going and I feel like I'm struggling or it's a little choppy or maybe I'm just not executing well, those are all signs for me that it's time to just walk away. And that's exactly what happened today. So after trying a few times, not really being able to execute that well, I felt a little off being up 52 bucks. It's time for me to just say, okay, it's one of those days where I'm not 100%. It's hard to be perfect each and every day, but I want to make sure that I don't start to overtrade, possibly turn that into a big red day and live to fight another day. So I wanted to make sure to highlight this because I know I do videos where it shows big money and I do that because this is entertaining. It's nice to see big losses, big wins. A lot of the stuff in between can be a little boring, but I really wanted to highlight that I have a lot of those days in between as well. So it's not like I'm making a ton of money each and every single day. That's just the reality of trading. There's going to be those days where the price action is great. I take full advantage. And then there's going to be those days where maybe the price action isn't as great, or I'm just slightly off and I don't execute that well. And then the PL is not the best. Welcome to trading. It happens to me all the time, but I don't overthink it like I used to do many years ago. I just accept it and move on. And before I go over the intraday and the daily trade of Tesla, I just want to mention that I do have a day trading options guide. I've talked about it before, but if you're unfamiliar with what it is, it's a 62 page downloadable PDF. It's basically my journey from beginning to end, everything that I did in between to try to figure out what works best for me. I'm going to be talking about some patterns today that worked out. It's the reason why I was able to make money. And I highlight these patterns in that guide. I go over a lot of topics. And then I also highlight the patterns that I like on the daily chart, the ones that I like on the intraday, all the technical levels that I trade around. And at the bottom of each page, I have YouTube links that go outside of the guide to my YouTube channel that discuss all of those details even further with examples. Everything I go over in this guide is how I approach the market each and every day and what's allowed me to become a consistently profitable trader. If you're interested in checking that guide out, there's going to be a link in the description below. And now to go over the daily chart on Tesla. So this was the CPI day where they released that data and everything had the big gap up. But up until that point, it was four red days in a row, did have the big gap up in pre-market. A lot of times those big gap ups, sometimes they can get sold, but I don't know what's going to happen. So I'm not trying to form a bias. I just want to wait for patterns to form. So what happened off the open? These are two minute candles. The very first two minute candle closed red and then it stayed weak. So it stayed below the 9 EMA and below VWAP. Had that initial move lower. I don't want to just chase this to the downside. Waited for the bounce, came back up to VWAP, back up to the 9 EMA, clearly failed to move higher. And then this is a pretty aggressive candle. So it broke below the bear flag slash new low of day. And when this candle really started to speed up, I ended up going short, anticipating the new low a day, got a nice move in my favor and took quick profits. Now to quickly go over Microsoft. So it was forming a bit of a bull flag on the daily. It had the gap up in the pre-market, so it broke above it. I thought maybe if the market could get going to the upside, Microsoft would break out, catch some momentum. So right off the open, had a little bit of a push higher, ended up breaking down. I didn't want to take any quick trades off the open. And then it got back above VWAP and the 9 EMA. So I went for an upside opening range break. So this goes to show that even though I have a handful of patterns that I like to trade, they don't work 100% of the time. Nothing works 100% of the time, but it looked pretty good. So I ended up going long, anticipating the upside opening range break. It did not go quickly, started to pull back. And this is where I got out for a small loss. 
So now to get into the actual trade. So the first one being on Microsoft, I think this looks pretty good for an upside opening range break. Ended up going long right around 289. Ended up taking the 290 calls, 10 of them, and I got filled at $2.27. So I felt like I got long in a decent spot. It did not get over the high and remain over the high. So that could be a possible fake breakout. Just to be safe, I'm gonna get out of the way. So I ended up selling all of those contracts, all 10 of them at $2.20 for a small loss. And then this is where I started to see Tesla get pretty weak, so I quickly flipped over. That's a pretty aggressive candle to the downside. First initial move off the open was lower, had the failed bounce. Now bearish continuation pattern, bear flag slash new low of day. But when I started to see that really aggressive candle to the downside, it led me to believe that there's probably more follow through to the downside. So I ended up taking the 870 puts, 10 of them, and I got filled at $18.05. Ended up breaking low a day and getting really nice follow through. And being that I'm a scalper, when I get a move like that pretty quick, I'm always just going to take profits. So ended up selling it on that flush, all 10 contracts at $20.07 for a nice gain. So now to go check out the PL, ended up losing $68 on Microsoft, making $2,025 on Tesla, and being green $19.57 on the day, which is a nice green day for me. So that was the trade recap. I appreciate you watching the video. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I just wanna talk about a couple cool things that I have to offer. The first is gonna be my newsletter watch list. This is exactly what I post on my private Twitter 30 minutes before market open every single day. I do a quick analysis of the overall market, the spy and the cues, if there's any major market news that day, and then all the stocks I'm interested in watching, it's usually four or five, if there's any major news tied to them, and all the levels that I think are in play, to the left, this is exactly what I'm posting on my private Twitter. I make sure to add that newsletter. I take a screenshot of the charts, green line to the upside being long, red line to the downside being short, and I make sure to highlight those two levels above. This is everything that's going on in my mind and my game plan going into each market open. Also, I make sure to add a little mental note because every day is slightly different, and here's an example of that. And if you want something that's a little bit less of a commitment, I do offer a live one-on-one -on -one call for one hour. This is where you can ask me questions about my journey, go over setups specifically, everything that I've gone through as a trader, whether you're beginner or advanced, this is a great way to connect with me. So if you're interested in my private Twitter or the one-on-one -on -one live call, feel free to go to callmattdiamond.com or check out the links in the description below.